Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Baby Steps. In this video, we are going to learn about Excel conditional formatting. So remember our uh, monthly expense tracker worksheet that we have prepared in the last few exercises. So this is where it is now. Of course, I have removed all the formulas that we have done in one other lesson to keep it simple again. Now, before jumping into doing something with this sheet, let us spend a minute and understand what conditional formatting really is. Conditional formatting, as the name suggests, what it does is it changes the format of your worksheet items, be it cells or a bunch of cells or a row or a column, based on some condition. Now, occasionally, what we would like to do is, for example, uh, let us say you want to highlight all the items that are more than 1000 1000 rupees or 1000 dollars in your case now i think we cannot see the whole list here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to collapse this ribbon in order to collapse this ribbon what you can do is you can double click on this tab name and it will be like that so it gives us a bit more space to play with isn't it cool okay so now what i'm going to do is i want to highlight all the items that are more than 1000 so that i can uh, spend some time understanding those items and maybe uh, figure out a way to reduce them now there is there is 1000 then there is one there is one there is one there is one you can select multiple select cells like that by using the key combination control and click so first you can select any cell by clicking on it the next cell you want to select you can hold the control key and then click on the other cell so we are selecting cells that are not contiguous to each other once i selected them what i am doing is i am applying a fill color to them uh, to bring those cells into attention and it is very clear to me that rent utilities food food and transport so all of these are necessary expenses and I understand that whatever money I'm spending more money I'm spending it is always going into the necessary stuff so there's nothing to worry for example had there been a shopping or or entertainment or something like that here then I would have worried and probably you know discussed with my wife of course this is not not real but then I'm just giving you an example but this kind of analysis and highlighting the values manually is not a good thing because sometime later, maybe at the end of August, we are only up to nine days now, there will be more items and some of those items may be more than thousand, some of them may be less than thousand. And as you progress, you might end up changing some of these values because they are erroneously recorded or something like that. And then you have to repeat the same step for September, October, November, so on and so forth. So highlighting these values more than 1000 every time you want to analyze is not a good idea because every time you have to do this manual work of selecting all the cells and then control clicking and then formatting. So this is where conditional formatting comes into picture. What it does as I said earlier is that it will highlight or it will change the format of some cells based on a rule. So here the rule being highlight this entire row whenever this value is or highlight this cell whenever the value is more than 1000 so let us do that to do that I'm just going to select these cells go to home clear formats so I just remove the formats I guess I remove the border also let me apply the border again select these cells home and right border okay so now what I want to do is I want to select these cells home in order to apply the conditional formatting click on this button conditional formatting and then select this first item highlight cell rules now there are a bunch of ways in which you can apply formatting uh, the simple rules are highlighting and top and bottom rules the highlight rules are you can specify any type of rule for example you can say you know a value greater than 1000 less than 500 or a value between 100 and 200 and like that okay or you can also tell whether a text contains for example eat out or a date occurring on weekends or highlight any duplicate amounts top and bottom rules are 
similar again you can easily understand what they do is they highlight the top 10 values or top 10 percent or something like that to get started let us do a simple rule highlight cells greater than and greater than 1000 okay excel gives you a bunch of options like let light red fill with dark red text or yellow fill with yellow text or something like that so let us select some something very simple and easy for us to bring it to understand or you can use a custom format okay when you do the custom format the format dialog box opens where you can set the formatting options I like that color so let us use that one okay okay so here you go the values are all formatted as per the condition greater than 1000 so if I if my landlord becomes uh, kind enough and he returns some of the rent money saying hey Chandu you know what you have been paying rent for the last so many months keep this money so I change this rent money to 500 and the highlighting this gone when I change it back to 2700 it comes back up again so this is what conditional formatting is all about you are applying formatting to a set of cells based on some rules now here you might ask a question Chandu it's really dumb we are just highlighting values in this column whereas I would like to highlight the entire row isn't it now that's where it gets a little tricky but I'm going to show you how to do that in order to do that let us select the entire thing but before even jumping there I think we should clear the formatting rules from this one so I'm selecting these cells go to home conditional formatting clear rules clear rules from selected cells so we are just removing the rule that we have set earlier so that the formatting will be gone when you do that the formatting will be cleared off and you have all the cells are again back to normal scene now I select all these cells now remember what is the condition that we need to select whether I am formatting B3 or C3 or D3 or E3 I need to just check the column E and see if it is more than 1000 so to do that I select this all these cells because all of them need to be formatted go to home conditional formatting and then select this option new rule new rule will give us a much more robust interface where we can create conditional formatting rules and formatting uh, option now all these are already known formatting sales based on their values is nothing but less than greater than contain and top and bottom ranked below average stuff like that but the last one is what I interesting to me use a formula to determine which cells to format of course uh, we are not a formula advanced people right now but you can write a simple formula that will do let me just show you a formula that will do this we need to check if e3 is greater than 1000 okay if it is greater than 1000 we need to set the formatting this fill color now the problem with using simple e3 is that remember how excel treats we, we did uh, we wrote a formula here and when when I dragged it the references for that formula the cells used in that formula changed automatically same thing applies for conditional formatting what conditional formatting does is when I write e3 e3 will be checked for the first cell so second cell will automatically check against f3 third cell will check against g3 that's not good we want all the cells to check against e3 so that is where we just use the value dollar e3 when I use a symbol dollar between before e what I'm telling Excel is keep the column e static don't change it okay I'm not going to go into details for that just show it to you right like this I think something is wrong with that let me just very quickly conditional formatting manage rules and okay as I guess it changed the reference but no worries okay so now we, we are cool all the values are highlighted since uh, I want to limit these videos to 10 minutes I'm not going to explain much detail but you can play with these formats and there's so much more to learn in conditional formatting I hope you had fun watching this video. All the best. Bye-bye.